Hi, hey, welcome. My name's Joe from Burroughs Toyos at Rotherham. Today we're going to show you the steering controls and how they function. So here on the left hand side we have, we'll start with the volume button. So this controls the volume on your radio and audio system. Just to the right of that, we have the voice control. So if your vehicle's connected to your phone via Bluetooth, or you can use it for the radio, you just click that and you can ask a command and it'll send you to the right place. On here, you've got the controls for your media system in front. So you can choose what page you want the vehicle on, what you see on the front console. This one here is for the phone. So you can also answer and decline calls from this button. So we'll bring it over to the right hand side. So the right hand side, we've got the lane assist here. So if you don't want that on, you can hold it in for about five seconds and it will turn it off, but it'll come on automatically with the vehicle. Uh, but that's your choice. Uh, you've got the cruise control at the top. So you click that button in. Once you get up to speed, you can flick down set and it'll activate the cruise control and keep at that speed. If you want to up the speed, you can up the speed. If you want to bring the speed down a little bit, flick it down. If you want to turn the cruise control off, you click the cruise control again. Now the cruise control is adaptive. So you have the adaptive cruise control button at the top. It's a little radar and it'll choose three chevrons, two chevrons or one. And you can choose between them, the distance between the car in front. Below that, you've got mode. So you can choose again on the, on the center console, whether you want the radio on, whether you want it on your phone. And this is the skip button. Again, skip through tracks or the radio channels. And let's not get the most important part of the car. The horn.